Hey guys, Coach Alex here with Physique Development, and today Sue and I are gonna go over the seated dumbbell anterior delt press. So I'm gonna go ahead and have Sue sit down, and when we are assessing the setup here, uh, with the seat angle, it's going to vary from person to person. I would err on the side of 70 to 90 degrees and what's going to be best for you. You gotta trial and error with what's going to work for you. Now, I'm gonna have Sue go ahead and kick up the dumbbells here. Now, a couple of things with the setup uh, with this movement is that we are going to find an elbow angle that is going to best uh, achieve the, the range of motion with the anterior delt. So with Sue, we're going to drive the elbows inward just slightly. The palms are going to be facing in. We want the wrist, elbow, and, and shoulder joint to be in alignment. Now that we have found a range of motion that best suits Sue, we're going to drive upward in a V angle. So an upside down V is, is how Sue is pressing. She's going to drive down as she maintains tension on the anterior delt. Perfect. Now, with this movement, we want to maintain tension through our abdomen and make sure that we are staying in the, the arm angle that we have uh, established for the full range of motion. Some errors that individuals sometimes have with this movement is that they feel that they have to be at a perfectly 90 degree angle, which shortens the range of motion on the anterior delt and can also put the rotator cuff in a compromised position. And that is the anterior delt press. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to work with a physique development coach one-on-one, -on -one, apply at physiquedevelopment.com.